to do something amazing in our midst. From the beginning of this meeting, it started with too much fire. And that's why we had to do the introduction, introductory welcome. <laughs> so for some of us, it's a new start because God wants to start another phase of the meeting. So God is not the author of confusion. He has already planned it that way. Hallelujah. Can we lift up our hands and love the Lord? Lift up your hands to him. Lift up your hands to him. Lord, I heard that you need a man that you will send to the nations. So I said, here am I, send me. Lord, send me. Lord, send me. When in you the hand, here is my use it. When you need a voice, here is mine, use it. When you need a Lego, here are mine, use it. When you need a belly to pray, here is mine, use it. Asani Kamane Osi Kamikabe Sandi Kombrikai Sandi Lekose Sumbri Kamiko Ali Kamikabo Sila Kantele Sumbri Kamine Sominako Lika vrikaze Janjenus kiko Mambri nandize Sumi na kumi Haribri kamone Leko minante Sani kobile Lako mike Ayoki zanambo Ribri Nandesi Kambindus Kaiko Akemina Nito Awi Ribanizo Lekeminaya Sanzina Nanko Oh 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 hey. <laughs> Lift up your hands and love you. For the rain that he will pour on us tonight. For the rain that he will pour on us tonight. Just lift up your hands. Say, Jesus, I love you. Dear Holy Spirit, I need you. With all that I have with all that i am tonight lord tonight first this meeting is a quarry every other thing that will happen is secondary the healings yes tonight there will be healings but it is secondary can you open up your heart and say lord meet with me lord again meet with me you might not have the energy physically to do so but i know your spirit is yearning yes i know your spirit is hungry so open the chambers and the bowels of your spirit open the bowels of your spirit i must not go back the same i must leave another man I am better than Saul of Tarsus. 
He was more wicked than I am. If God could meet with him, like we see in the Bible study, ha, he can meet with you. Saul of Tarsus made no prayer for God to encounter him. I believe it was the prayers of Ananias. And you heard that 100 days fasting and beyond has gone ahead of you. The church has prayed for your encounter. Can you open up your spirit and say, Lord, I'm here. Oh, yeah. Let it go strong. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. We will start calm like this. Ah, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just enjoy the sound, enjoy it. Sometimes it comes to you, you dance. Sometimes you just smile, you know. Sometimes you smile. Sometimes you cry. Sometimes you jump. All these are expressions of the spirit. Go ahead and love him. Go ahead. 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 somebody with kidney problems you have a kidney problem reported by a doctor to you it's as though your kidney is failing tonight healing will come to you healing will come to you Ovarian cysts that will be dissolved tonight. Mm, mm, mm. Severe ab no abdominal pain that has that has stayed for too long. It will go in this meeting. There's somebody here you lack the capacity to stand and walk for too long. There's a problem, a debilitating, a debilitating problem that is that is terminating your strength tonight healing will come on you i will look for you i will look for these cases yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. That you will send to Cameroon, Lord. I heard that you need a man. That you will send to Ghana, Lord. I heard that you need a man. That you will send to South Africa. Lord, I heard that you need a man that you will send to America. So I said, Here am I, use me. Lord, use me anyhow you want. 
So I said, yeah, I use me. Just use me anyhow you want. When you need a mouth to speak, here is my use it. When you need a hand to heal, here I might use it. When you need some leg to walk on, here I might use it. When you need a belly to groan, here is my use it. When you need a man to go, here am I set. When you need a man to move, here am I set me. Ha. When you need a voice in Nigeria, here is man use it. Ha. When you need a man to speak in Benin City, here am I. When you need a man in a cool up yard, When you need a man in Port Harcourt, here am I mind you. Lord, when you need a man, oh. When you need a man, here am I mind you. Lord, when you need a man, oh. Here am I mind you. When you need a man, here am I mind Somebody's making application. When you need a man, oh. Hi. When you need a man, oh. Lord, when you need a man, eh. When you need a man, oh. Here am I. When you need a man, just a string now. Here am I. When you need a man, Lord, here am I. Tonight we make an application to you. Just like Gideon, we are the least of men. Oh. We are not strong. <laughs> In fact, our family is also the least. Our clan is also the least. Some of you from your village, no mighty man has ever risen. I don't know about but my own. There are men you call in every nation, you can trace them to their village. God needs a man to liberate villages. Papa was talking about his village yesterday. God needs men to liberate cities. So when you need a man, Lord, we are here. We are here. That's why we came. That's why we are here. We paid our transport, not because, not because we want to look at faces. We came to this mountain so you can meet us again. So to the layers you have given, add another layer. Add another layer. We must go away from this place heavy. Every grace that we can covet, give us the appetite and hunger to covet. May we not despise anyone. May we sit when teachers teach and desire that grace and say, Lord, give me the teaching dimension. And when prophets prophesy, Lord, I want this one. And when evangelist operates, Lord, I want this one. And when apostles instruct, Lord, I need this one. Pour in us a deep hunger. Do something to us. On this mountain, we, we vow that we will not go back the same. I don't know about you, but we vow. Me as somebody here in the spirit, I know you, I see you. We are making a vow, a pledge. We cannot go back the same. We cannot go back the same. Kai, 
we cannot I don't know about you but we cannot go back this way one encounter with someone Saul was stunned those who saw him when he went when he came back they said Kai, this one is not Saul again it is a cry arrest tonight may we not go back the same let us not go back the same Kai. oh things are hovering things are hovering things are hovering things are hovering ha <laughs> ha There's a glory I seek. It is hovering over me. There's a fire I need. It is coming over me. There's a glory I seek. It is hovering over this atmosphere. Take the string high. There's a fire that I need. I see it coming all over me. There's a glory I need. It is hovering over There's a fire that I seek. It is coming. There is this glory dimension that I seek. There is an energy that is pulling it over me. Tonight it will settle on my head. It will settle. 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 I am tired of making excuses. Sometimes I sit in church and I'm tired of explaining to the people why this one was not healed. What explanation do we owe our generation? A man came to our church. He could not walk. And after praying for him, he still could not walk. I need to tell the man you did not have faith somebody that paid his transport all the way from GROA to that meeting after the meeting I cried to God I said why is it that I pray for this one I prayed it did not work why why Kahina Santela I don't say there is this glory we seek it will come on us, Lord. Since our ministry have entered the apostolic phase, there is a power we need to take to the nations. There is a power we need to take to the nations. This one is the last fasting festival we are going to have before we break into the nations. So something must must break loose here because the next time we will be seen many of us will be in Cameroon we might be in South Africa something must, must come on us something must come as a church because I belong to this thing something must, something must drop this is not about a man of God this is about man of God. Whether you are a drummer, you are a keyboardist, whatever you are doing, there's a fire we must take to the nations. You will teach me your way. I will follow your path. You will teach me your ways. 
I will follow your path. You will teach me your ways. And I will follow your path. You will teach me your ways. And I will follow your path. One more time. You will teach me your ways, Lord. How we follow. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hi. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For the heavy atmosphere that you've given unto us. So we ask tonight, you will release these things. You will release, you will release, you will release, you will release, you will release. Let no one here go back the same. Let no one, let no one here tonight. I hear my spirit, woman, thou art loosed. I will look for that woman. When we come to healing, oh my God, let no one, not single one, no one go back the same. Let the anointing that will make men to halt, there's an anointing that pauses the movement of men. It compels men to stop. Please sit down. Let me start with this. Just a little lower. There's an anointing that compels men to stop. There's an anointing that compels men to halt. Our world is not so much in the hurry not to stop when they see a man of power and a man of fire. Take the volume high a little. They are not so much in the hurry not to stop. Our team for this meeting is compelled by the Spirit. I like to start from this way. I know that by layer and layer, precept by precept, the word has been coming. I want to dwell on a small corner tonight, which is the consequence of non compliance. If you refuse to be compelled, I want to show you the consequence. I want to show you the consequence. So that at the end of this meeting tonight, we will make a strong demand on heaven. I must not be exempted. No. I must not. I will start from Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 20 to 22. Choose the way of the Lord. Jeremiah 20, chapter 8, verse 20 to 22. I choose the way of the Lord. For the ways of the Lord is a way of power. I choose the way of the Lord. Kai. For the way of the Lord is a way of fire. I choose the way of the Lord. Two young men who happen to be sons, they went to the market to get meat. And when they were brothers, actually, and they were they are workers in my ministry, they, they left their house to go get meat so that they could make food. And when they got to the market, they saw people gathered. 
people gathered in a chaotic way it was a chaos so the younger was saying to the elder let's focus on what we are going to do the younger said no let's know why they are gathered like that and when they came into the midst of those people gathered they discovered that a woman had just slumped and died So the younger said to the other elder, you've seen why they are gathered. Can we now go and buy the goat meat we came to buy? He said, no. We will not. This woman must rise. He asked them, do you, any of you know this woman? They said, one of them said, yes, she sells here. What happened? He said she was just walking. She shouted, slumped and died. So what's her name? They said, we don't know her name. We only know as Ie something. That's Vinny's like saying Nne, like Mama. And so he went into the middle, called that name and said, in the realms of the spirit, we were taught that name is not, a, is not just something of identity only, but name carries with itself a spiritual address. Woman, I call you back to life. Held the woman's hand, even though she was dead, jacked her up, and the woman sneezed. And then people gathered. Clap for Jesus if you want to. Even though everybody was going to buy and sell, of course, you know what we happen. There was a pause. What just happened? These two young men brought a dead woman back to life. Without keyboard, without microphone, without anything, they had a free crusade without any publicity. Do you know why I'm sharing this? I want you to know that you can leave this meeting and do the same. That amen. Some of you don't even believe. So you, you can't even say you can't say something that shows that you affirm what I'm saying. I said you can live here and do the same. Yeah. Ah, that amen is not coming from a hungry belly. I said you can live here and do the same. Yeah. I'll say it one more time. You can live here and do the same. Yeah. The reason why God has been releasing all that he has been releasing since on Tuesday evening when we started is not so that we can feel good. It's not so that we can just say, Kai, this, this, mind, this meeting was mighty. What makes a meeting mighty is what the people in the meeting began to do after the meeting. If for the hundreds of us that are here now seated and probably the hundreds or thousands watching, if one man can stand up like Jonathan, even when Saul is hiding in a cave, God can route victory. Are you following? Are you following what I'm saying? So tonight, I want to show you the consequence. If you refuse to be compared, I want to show you your future. There is nothing mighty about any man. It's just that there is a mighty God walking with the man. That's what makes men mighty. Until you find your mightiness of God, you cannot be mighty. And in simple terms, to be compelled by the Spirit is just to see the Spirit or hear the Spirit do something and do it. Just hear the Spirit do something and do it. On Easter day, people came who wanted to name a child. And so, they brought somebody who could not walk. 
and I was preaching and the place that they positioned the guys so that no matter how I tried to dodge it, I must see it. And I was preaching powerfully the resurrection power of Jesus. And I shouted, He's risen! Jesus is risen! I was telling them that when he rose, he said, All power. And then behold, I give unto you powers. All power given to him in heaven and on earth. Then he gave unto you power. Including all the powers. He said all the powers of the wicked ones against them. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. As I spoke much like that and getting to the climax of the meeting. The people were high and they were praying. And the young man, just like this, was sitting down looking at my eyes. So the Holy Ghost asked me, are you going to leave him like that? I said, no. That man should walk. Went straight to him. I collected his leg. You know what was his leg? The thing that brought him to the church. He said, now your leg is gone. You will walk. So he looked at me in, in fear. I looked at his eyes, refusing to fear. He said, stand up now. I held his hands. He stood up. His brother was looking at him. Is this one? I said, sit down again. He sat. That's to Jesus. Stand up again, he stood. Then I held him by one hand. I said, follow me. Satan said, are you stupid? He has not walked before. I said, it's not my business. If the resurrection power of Jesus that I preached is alive, it's either he disgraces himself here. But this man, I cannot pretend to, to think that this man did not come to church. He came and he must walk. So I held his hand. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. I said, walk straight, my friend. So he looked at me, he's like, this man doesn't have pity. When it comes to healing, compassion makes us to pray for the sick. But when it comes to healing, faith takes away pity. So he was trying to leap. I said, walk straight, my friend. So he paused and he looked at me. And my eyes were skewed and red. So he had to comply. I said, exercise these legs. Stretch. I went. I said, stretch the right leg. Stretch it until it touches mine. He touched it. Take it back. He took it. And then we began to walk. Hold on. There's somewhere I'm going. There's, there's somewhere I'm going. If we refuse to be compelled, the great moments and the high points of God will deny him. Will deny him. He, he, he wants to make a show in that open place. And suddenly you did your eyes as if you did not see. And as you are walking, you are hearing compelled by the spirit. Compelled by the spirit. You say no. This one is not the spirit of God. It's Amadio are speaking. I rebuke you in Jesus name. We have to bring this thing practically. Amadio I cannot tell you to heal a man. You didn't hear what I said? Every good and perfect gift is from where? Satan cannot tell you to heal a man. What about if you try and it doesn't work? Keep trying. Kalabani Safile. You see, we want to enter a season where when we come to church now for, for the whole testimony time, Members are sharing testimonies of what they are doing in the marketplace. Testimonies of what God is using them to do. If the prayers we are praying here is not translating into the market, ha, we have to question our motives. Are you following? Praise God. 
Are you following? In that city, I've been very calm, just doing what God asked me to do. I don't even know anybody, nothing, just on like that. But because those two boys did that to miracle, and the PFN president was in the market, whether he brought the wife that day. So he saw what happened. He came and said, who are you young men? He said, we are just brothers in our church. This is my younger brother, I'm the senior. We are just brothers. He said, brothers, raising the dead in a market. Who is your pastor? And for the first time in my life, BFN and those states is now inviting me to come and talk to pastors. I, who opened the door? Who opened that door? God through brothers. When you deny God some moments, you delay your journey. That is one of I, that is one of the consequences of non-compliance. You delay. Number one is that you delay. You delay the journey. You delay it. There are some ladies that are seriously going from church to church looking for husband now. God probably gave them their husband in the crude form many years ago. They said no. And because they were not prompt, they missed that season. Can I speak to you tonight? There are some delay that is orchestrated by non-compliance. Sanama so celebrea. Kati amina safelea. Can we read that scripture so you say, so you don't say, I, I did not even read any scripture and I'm talking. Jeremiah 8.20 The harvest is past. The summer has ended and we are not saved. Who said this, Jeremiah? The harvest has passed. The summer has equally passed. And yet we are not saved. Then verse 21. Can we go now? Since my people. Can we go to King James? Please. Except I say otherwise. Use King James. For the heart of my daughter. For the heart of the people of my. Of the daughter of my people. Am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment had taken hold on me. Verse 22 is my can we go together? Is there no palm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Many years ago, this scripture became my body. I was sharing with Papa, I think about, that should be 2018 or 2019. I told Papa, I said, Sir, I was in the church praying and I saw a jar of oil that was half filled. Papa said, What did you do? I said, Papa, I continued the prayers. Spend about two or three hours more and then I saw the jar again came again and it became overfilled the oil was now flowing then I saw myself in a, in a hospital ward I was wearing a clinical gown I don't know if Papa can remember that and then some other doctors the same and some nurses were reporting so I was just writing as we were moving in into the theater for emergency with my stethoscope and then that vision was rolled away then I asked God, what is this? God said, I'm conscripting you into the healing ministry. 
I said, wow. Then after a time again, I still began to pray. I prayed to a point and for the first time I saw Rehad Bonke. He came. As if he was not happy. You know the mandate the man ran with it was a Nigerian mandate. How many of you know it was a Nigerian mantle? Okay, many people don't know. Just a few. Let's leave that aside. The man he handed over to is um, Daniel Kolenda. All right? Okay. So that one is um, the man that took over from him. But you see, mantles might not respect proximity. I think that's too much grammar. I don't want to speak grammar this night. Let me break it down. What I'm trying to say in essence is that you can be in a Colombia with Papa. Every day working with him and for him. And yet, the dimensions of healings and impartation that is working on his life will not be seen in you. But another of his son like me in Benin, who is not with him in terms of proximate level, is experiencing the same depth of healing that he experiences. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, Mantu is not by running to men of God to put hand on your head. Man to locate men of the secret. So he came and he said, The Lord sent me to you. I said, Wow, bonky. He said these words, and I quote him the same way he said it in that revelation. He said, The Lord has adopted you into the hall of fame of healing. That was the exact word he used. So, after praying to test that thing, we went to do a crusade. And in that crusade, I saw almost a 98% healing conversion. And I began to reflect on that particular encounter because encounters are pillar in journey of destiny. A man can always fall back to it. A man can hold God by his word. And a man can also hold God by encounters. So Jeremiah said, there are seasons that have passed, yet we are not saved. I think tonight, I am just like Jeremiah because that body came on me. When I saw people in my city misbehaving and I go inside and say, Lord, I thought they said there is a revival that has come. Why are we not saved? Why are we not healed? Bodies are enrollment into the heart of God. Bodies are what enroll you. They enroll you to to come into the heart of what? Of God. When God sends you a body, it's because he's beckoning on you to come. Come into my heart. There is something I want to show you. Just like Thomas, he said, uh, touch. Help him. Help him. Help him, ushers. Be, be very prompt. Be very prompt. Be very prompt. When God shows you a body, it's not because he wants you to feel good. It's because there is a wound he wants to show you. I didn't know that God was preparing me for something. Anytime I read that scripture, I will cry. A time came. Me and some of my sons were driving to drop a guest minister in the hotel. And I didn't know I, I, I don't drive in the night into that area. And when we got there, I saw prostitutes. I said, oh my God, who are these people? 
My son said, Ah, Papa, this is Oluku now. This is the den of prostitutes. I said, Jesus. So as we were coming out from the hotel room, we stopped. I told them, Stop, stop. Don't move this car. We stopped by one. And when we stopped by that one, our eyes were glowing. I, I saw Satan in that eyes. She looked at us seductively. But she saw the way we were dressed. People don't wear suits to carry <laughs> So I said, here am I. Use me. Lord, use me. Lord, use me. When you need a handle, here am I. Use it. When you need a voice to speak, here is my music. I told them, pause, pause. Don't drive, don't drive. Hold on. So they get looked and saw that, no, 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 these ones are not, these ones are not our customer. Immediately she knew her face changed. Her face changed and her eyes stood. So my sons, this, 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 shivered a little. Then I looked at her. I said, look at me. She looked at my eyes. Then she brought her head down. I said, look at me again. She brought it down. I said, look at me again. And this time when she looked at me the third time, she started shaking. I said, what are you doing here? That was the question I asked her. I said, what are you doing here, young lady? She said, my elder sister brought me. She deceived me that I was coming to learn work. And when I got here, this is the work she gave to me. I said, you cannot be here. And your destiny is wasted. You are not made for this. Won't you give your life to Jesus? She said, please sir, I want to. She said, please sir, I want to. So, our colleagues in the business they were gathering to see the drama physically speaking there's no beauty that will make that girl to be a prostitute so I believe that there was a spirit she was using to compel men to sleep with her she gave her life to Christ and then my sons started the engine to move. I said, no, don't move. I said, how much do we have there? They brought out some money. I brought it out. I said, take. Use it to start something. The girl knelt down at the middle of that road that night and said, thank you. For the first time, somebody has given me money and not demand anything. It's possible we can win her to Christ but not communicate the love of Christ to her. It's possible we drove off and that girl will go back and continue because we only compelled her but there is also, Bible said the love of God is shed abroad in our heart. Romans 5.5 5. So I communicated the love of Christ to her and when she held the money she kept looking at us until we sped off. Then when I came back home, I began to weep. I said, Lord, my city is given to so much immorality and I don't know. We moved and we began to cost some brotels. We cost about three brotels. Now there's one particular brotels when we got there that night, I discovered that it was not normal girls. It's as if they were mentally derailed, disfigured by demons that are the prostitutes there. If you see them bodily, they, they, they have no form, no beauty at all. But yet, I saw men trooping into the brothels in and out. So I stretched forth my finger and I cost it. And in less than two or how many months, I got a report that the government said they should not work again. So that brothel, we drove down there, we saw that it was closed. So Jesus be that glory. If 
you don't move God God my hope you are accountable enough of conferences and retreats where you go and you go back to sit waiting for the next retreat God forbid the next one nations would have been open to us yes nations nations you see in this place we are not in a hurry yes you know I, 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 I discuss with myself I say what Papa carries is very heavy that sometimes I used to weep if I'm praying for him that what is he actually doing here But you see, I understand again that God works with men in faith. And watch it. The international door has been opened. You can't even celebrate what God is doing with us. Huh? Stand up and shout Amen. Amen. It shows me that you are not jealous. Because you see some people in their heart, they are jealous. They say, oh, international door for them. If you take the side of our enemy, our prayer will do wonderful danger to you. I told a young lady, after I left fellowship, I discovered that she was doing much havoc to the fellowship. So I came to Enugu, I said, have you asked a witch what our prayer used to do to them? She said, why are you talking like that, Papa? I said, no, answer me first. I said, don't make yourself become the object of our prayer point. You know you like this. You just look, you think, this thing we are doing is having no effect. It's because you are not a witch. Be a witch and see if you can stay here two minutes. You, you, you think we are playing? We are not. Be an awkward man. They brought one to our church. He could not sit. He ran out. He came back. He ran out. So I asked my people, I said, what's wrong with that man? So one person said, ah, you don't know him. He's an Oboni man, one of the leaders of Oboni. I said, oh. So what's pursuing him? He came in and then he packed his things and he's running. We didn't see him again. You know why you can sit down like this? It's because you are... What qualifies you to sit like this? Because you are a human being. <laughs> if you are a fish, you will soon discover what we have here. And in case one entered by mistake, tonight we will look for you and cast that fish out. Because bread is made for sons. That's what Jesus told the sign of a nation woman whose daughter, uh, even that woman, the reason why her daughter was entitled to crumbs because she was a human being. <laughs> Are you getting it? So, Jeremiah cried. Seasons have passed and gone, yet we are not saved. Do you know why I'm raising this thing? Because there's a season that is over Nigeria now. This season was not passed without us doing something. This season must not pass without your name being imprinted and conscripted with it. Lord, here am I. Whatever it takes you to use a man, do it to me. Are you following what we are saying? Because if you miss this season, you will experience delay. Sorry, it's like I'm casting a bad news, but sorry, but it's the truth. You will make, you experience some delay. And there is a regret that follows delay. There's a regret when a man misses season. I hate that regret. Father, may we not be, may we not be part of it. There is something that follows delay. It is called regret. The pain of regret is worse than the pain of discipline. You, 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 can, you can be disciplining your
yourself now. And your classmates are laughing you. Hello, can you ask God to give them more mouth to laugh at you? Because the more they laugh at you, the more you impress. And just because you are pressing and they are laughing at you, don't stop. It happened to me. They laughed and laughed in school. Say these people will just be making noise. La 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 la. What is la 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 la? Can they just speak English and pray? That same person, the father's two kidney failed, and they want to take him to India for surgery. Do you know what what happened? Even though they were Jehovah Witnesses, the first person that came to our heart was la 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 la. You think that you are making noise? It's not true. They know you. It's because problem have not happened to them. It's because they've not had the problem. Only you. They, you know, there are some problems that have your name tag attached to it. Father, may you give such problems to my Joabs. There is no way no man could have been healed. His healing was tied to a man. Anywhere he would have gone, they would say, we can't help you. Do you think he has not gone places? He has done things. But you see, his healing was tied to a man. Lord, give my Joabs the problem only me can solve by your anointing. That's why here we are crying for anointing. So that when your day comes, you will have something to offer your generation. Don't be like that fig tree that had nothing to offer. Jesus said you should cut it down. Cut it down. He has nothing to offer. Then the vineyard, the man in the vineyard, the angel said, give us one more year. I perceive in my spirit that God is giving somebody here one more year. One more year to roll back all the seasons you have missed. 2022 to 2023 for somebody here might be a year of replaying lost seasons. Kalia Fata. Serena Moskina Andis Kaiko Belia. One more. Give my Joabs a problem only me can solve. A white man had coronavirus. He doesn't believe in God, but the wife believes. So the wife has watched and listened to some of those few testimonies I'm led to share online. And so they called. And when they called, the man was laughing as the wife was talking. Two of them had coronavirus and their daughter, their only daughter. They were, the man was laughing. He doesn't believe in this. So this, your African, you people like prayer too much. Is everything. For the treatment, it was not working. Because he himself was about 65 years or more. So I said, it doesn't matter now whether your husband has faith for this healing or not. You have called. Put the phone on last speaker. Let me show your husband that anointing can be transmitted through microphone into Europe. See, don't, don't keep touching that. Thing. So, immediately I said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command coronavirus first to leave the white man. Let it start from the white man. The man fell. So he started shouting. He said, something is working on my inside. What, what do you people call it? Something is working. The wife said, it's anointing. He said, does anointing have led to work? The wife said, sometimes. If you are stubborn. Sometimes. If you are what? So when they were done, the man stood. Then I prayed for the wife also. So the man went to do tests the next day and he was confirmed negative. Did another one negative. So the man now said, Kai! It's like that thing they used to do. That thing they are doing in Africa. It's like there's power. It's not like the one here. Say, why don't you tell that man to come here? That we need such people here. Europe is thirsty for the real. Hi. You know you watch American movies, you think all is well with them, you don't know. You don't know. All is not well. They need a man that is carrying this pure thing. 
You see this stream flowing. They need a man that can carry this thing to them. They need a man. They need, they need somebody who can carry this thing to them. He said, the man said, all we have here are people who just want money. And your pastors that come from Nigeria here, they only come for our money. He said, one of them came. And when he came, because he saw Euro, they were giving, you know, <laughs> daddy, if somebody pay off with, with Naira and Euro, they are not the same. Bro, they are not the same. Imagine you can't hear now 5,000 Naira. Then they count their 5,000 Euro. Are they the same? The impact is if it touches your account in Naira, you will know they are not the same. So he said in less than two months, but before the man left, the man said God is sending him to other places. But in less than two months, they heard that the man is coming again. So they said, uh-uh, the prophecy you gave to us has not even worked. You are coming again. So when the man came, all of them ganged up. Like the way they ganged up to say, Papa should preach. They ganged up and said, we will not give offering. And then the man didn't go again. After that one. May God use sinners to teach some of us lessons. Are you, are you following what I'm saying? I don't even know why I'm talking like this and I don't know how much time I have talked. You didn't give me time. But can we journey? Can we journey? Can we journey? Are you ready? So when God begins to corner you into some kind of things, discipline yourself for it now. Because a time is coming, you will not have that time again. Especially students. Students. Let me, first, let me tell you two things about yourself. Number one, you must know that spirits are battling for your destiny. Spirits. And you must, you must determine who is going to win. Because this world is a marketplace and different things are advertising themselves. I think it was Pastor Ekin that was talking about the aura of Yahoo boys. So we went to a crusade in Epoma. They were driving me, they guessed me. I don't know what they used to carry me now. Whether that was, what was a car or motor, I don't understand. We were by the gate. A car passed. Phew, another one passed. Phew, the third. So I, I, I told the, the organizers, I said, oh, calm down. Your lecturers are very rich in this university. This kind of 50 million naira car, 30 million naira car that has been passing since, what are they doing to buy it? He said, no, sir. Not lecturers. He said, those are students. He said, those are students. I said, what? Students buying this kind of car? He said yes. And by the time I entered the campus, I understood why they could buy that kind of car. In the crusade ground, even though they put it in the most strategic place, people refused to attend. So I told them, I said, well, whether they attend or not is not the problem. Run the program. And then they ran the program. I asked God, I said, I don't know how you are going to bring these people now as they are passing. I don't know how. The rain began to fall. As the rain began to fall, that place became the only place, center that they can, you understand? And when I saw them began to come in number, then I increased the volume of what I was saying. until God began to stir up their hearts. Even though many of them were sinners and gave their life to Christ, the Lord did not deny them the baptism of the Holy Ghost in that same instance. It's only you that don't know that God is in a haste in this season. 
It's only you that don't know. That's why you play with everything and you play on everything. The second thing that can happen to you if you do not comply is that there will be negative effects in you like jealousy. So imagine you were two who began to pray but a time came, God began to lead two of you in two different ways. And you said no. Let's just imagine that when this ministry started and it started from the house and then God began to lead and say, my son, get out of the house and get a hall. He says no. What God said to me in the beginning is what I will stand by. Do you think that there will be this move we are seeing now? Huh? Are you sure? Are you sure? They'll, this move will not exist. Because if all of them stay in that house, a time will come, they will get bored. Listen to me. For every stage, God will give you all you need for that stage. I told somebody, I said, why kill yourself to look for money to buy equipment and this thing when you don't even have the people that can enjoy the equipment? When it is the stage for house, God will not give you money to buy sound system. No matter how you pray, God will not give you that money. You know why? We are in the same room. Why do I need sound system? If I talk, they can hear me. I'm pastoring 20 people in one small room and I'm crying to God for cameras. My friend, feed those 20 well first. How long? I don't know. How long? I don't know. Keep feeding them. Keep feeding them. Keep feeding them. When the time comes, that 20 people will come out with you as mighty men. Are you following? But when people don't follow promptings, they later begin to envy and jealous those. They say, this my friend, he went to touch something. They now begin to concord lies. There are those who, when we started this thing together, they refused to move. They stayed behind. They stayed behind. So today, they, some of them say, eh, don't mind him, that thing he's doing. His satanic power is using. These are people we did the same thing with. But now they say satanic. You know why? No oil again. They refused to journey with God a little further. You don't know what I'm saying if you are a student until you graduate. That's when you know that some of you, the fire you are using to pray now is, is borrowed. Are you following? So when we turn a little, we will discover that, Kai, if I stop now and my brother progresses, a time will come, even though I love him, there might be this this envy or slight jealousy. You know why? Not because I really hate him. I'm envying because I see that Kai, it would have been us. When your time comes, may nothing stop you from being present. When your time comes for decoration, may nothing stop you from being present. The third thing that might happen to you is you will go mischievous. You know, some of these ministers who are doing, like, like that one we watched, they were showing me on internet, who went to pray for God to give him keys. And God now sent keys from heaven. And Alanda he started selling the keys. 50K. Key fell from heaven. But that man, when I studied about his life, I discovered, sir, Papa, you know he's close to Benin, so he started well. He was looking for God desperately. In fastings, going to mountains and in prayers. You know why I'm sharing this? Because of you. Are you like this, you hate covering, or you, you hate covering. You don't want to sit in a place where you can be instructed. You want to find God all by yourself. So you latch into seven days drive by yourself. Three days drive by yourself. You are accountable to no man. 
The first three days that I did on the mountain, at the second day, I mean the third day, a demon appeared from the ground and said, oh, I've had your quest for power and I've come to give you power. But it didn't come like a demon. No. It came. But in my spirit, because it's been trained from years of following, something in my spirit was repulsive. I said to the demon, I don't know where that thing came out from. I said, it is not this type that I want. Only the demon became angry and his true nature came out. His head was bigger than the ground. He said, this thing you are saying, don't teach it. I can give you power. He said, teach the gospel, teach everything, but this one, don't teach it. Don't talk about holiness. Don't talk about... <laughs> Say, don't talk about these ones, but talk about these ones. As he was going. Listen to me. Listen. Open your eyes. Listen. Many of these men doing magic, they looked for God into the mountain and these things met with them and they embraced it. And when they embraced it, they refused to submit. Huh? They reported to no man. They didn't have a father that they could meet and say, Daddy, look at what happened to me in this, in this fasting I told you I was going to do. Look at what happened. So that daddy can sit down and look at it from the scripture and say, Kai, but this one is not correct. It's, it's not consistent with the word. So those men collided and today you can see the effect. So I was talking to Ekings. I said, but do you notice the way people give them money? That man has built something massive in, in Delta State and he bought a marsh, but he built estates and churches inside marsh. But when you see the real like this and then we teach you balanced theology, balanced truth, you now come and say, well, it's not by paying tithe that somebody can prosper. I've not paid tithe for three months and I'm prospering because we taught you the truth about tithe. Is it not so? Can you go to Jeremiah and tell him it's not about tithe? Can you go to him and say it's not about the water? You know, here yeah, we've taught you that it's not about the water. So you are now judging everything. And so if you like, you have money and you do with it what you want. You don't know that every money is a, is a messenger. It has an assignment. Are you following now? Now, let me use about five minutes to wrap up so that I will pray for the sick and then we'll go. Listen to me. Listen. Are you following? Praise God. Praise God. He, he, can, he can bring in that kind of unwanted thing. It can make you become mischievous. It can make you now start to walk in the flesh. It can make you now start to misbehave. It might make you now start to look for dubious means. You know why? Because it is good that a man bears his yoke when he is young. I don't care no matter how strong you are. If God meets with you at the age of 65, there are some prayers you can pray. There are some fastings you can do. It's true. That's why great man you see in the kingdom started young if you think it's a lie do your assignment any man you see doing big things started young started young lord we are all young here just a few that is not young with us we are all young here whatever it will take you to make a general out of us lord do it Ah, whatever it will take you to make a mighty man out of what? Lord, do it. Whatever it will take you, Lord, do it. I refuse to tell the stories of others. I refuse. I refuse. Close to our church, there's a big building full of yahoo boys they call it hk in Benin. i don't know why people call it in anambra state 
Huh? It's still HK. And before we came, it, uh, we came before the building. It was, uh, it was in our presence they built it. But you know, they like fine things and new things. So they took over the whole house with flashy cars, with flashy babes, with flashy. Everything was flashing, including their knicker and their palm. Everything they wear is flashing. So it became a problem. We began to pray. And one of the days, one of them came into our meeting. A Muslim, but he said, these people, they, they will be shouting. Let me even know why they are shouting. So he came. And when he came, he sat behind. I didn't even know him. He sat behind and I was teaching the word with so much authority. And the young man began to cry. And the power of God came on him. Church dismissed everybody went. He could not stand. He was crying where he was. Crying bitterly. And then he met the ushers and said, I want to see pastor. So he came to the office to see me. He said, sir, I'm not a Christian. I don't know anything about God. I'm not suffering. He said, the least money I make from Yahoo is $3,000. I'm not suffering. He said, but for the first time in my life, I've realized that a man has something that I need. I said, what is it? He said, I don't know, but that Holy Ghost you kept talking about, I want to know him. I said, I, I don't understand what you are saying. He said, sir, the only thing I need now is that Holy Ghost. Can you give it to me? I said, if I give you this Holy Ghost, see the name Holy, what will you do with it? He said, number one, I will quit Yahoo from today. I said, then let's ride. Holy Ghost, you have him. It is no evil. You know, Holy Ghost doesn't need for you to pray for him. He just came on him and we left him. He prayed in tongues in the church and stayed and stayed and he left. Then two or three weeks later, he came to the office with his bags. So he met people in the church. He said, I want to see Apostle. They said, Apostle, say, I want to see him. Let me tell him goodbye. So they came to me and said, that young man wants to see you. So I came out. I said, hey, where are you going to Kenneth? He said, I'm going back to meet my parents in the village. I said, I don't understand. You don't want to stay in Benin again? He said, no. I said, but I'm trying to use my mind. How will you fare? You just left secondary school last two years. And then this man bought you and kept you there. Working for him in Yahoo and all of that. He said, sir, don't pity me. The only thing I need you've given to me. Watch out for me. You will hear from me. He said, let me go and fellowship with this thing. Let me go and tend this thing. Since you said that this Holy Ghost can give people all these things, you will hear from me. He said, don't pity me. He left. As he left, their empire began to crumble. Another one came and left. Another one came and left. So now I'm I'm an enemy in that area. They hate me. We, 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 we are spirit bartenders. We serve original. In case you don't have original here, tonight, original will come. Original will come. The original that will compel you to do things for the kingdom. It will come. It will come. So I round up with this. In Abuja, we went to evangelize and when we got to a particular house, we met a security man and then we preached the gospel of Jesus. I preached br brutally to him. I knew I had a short time to stay in Abuja. So I preached brutally to that man. And then I discovered that after a while, a big man came in and it was it was the boss. By that time, we had already left. We were done with that guy and we are left. So the ogre stopped at the gate and said, some people came to preach to you today. So the servant or the security man said, ogre, people pass, this is a street now. Your house is by the street. People pass this here and preach to me every day. Why are you so particular about today? He said, no. He said, every day I'm not aware, but today some people came. So the young man was now confused. 
because we had passed we have already left the house so the man couldn't have known then the man entered. I said, that thing they give, they gave to you. Don't speak it here. The day you open your mouth and speak it, that day you will pack. May God compel you to serve the original. Because sometimes you don't know when you will see them again. Having given him the word, we ensured he was full of the spirit. So when Oga left for work the next morning, this young man locked himself inside and said, that thing they say I should not speak. I want to speak it. Let me know what that thing can do. <laughs> so he began to speak. In the middle of the speaking, Oga ran down from the walk. In the middle of Abuja to Guagalada in his house. And said, you stupid boy. I asked you not to do that and you still went ahead. You will get out of this place today without payment. And you go back to your parents in Joss, in that bush, to go and do farm. The young man gladly said, okay, sir, there's no problem. If it's on this account, I can quit. Then that same day was a Wednesday. He came to Bible study. And our senior pastor was teaching. When he saw the man, the young man was by the gates. And at the end of the Bible study, they asked, why are you packing your bags? He was smiling and laughing. He said, Oga oh, just sacked me. So even me, I became confused. Oga oh, just sacked you. Where are you going now? He said to village. Why are you laughing? He said, oh, shouldn't I have laughed? Oga oh, said I should not pick these things you people gave to me. And I should stop because of him. He said, no. I believe that whatever made you to give me this thing, means that this thing is sufficient to carry me. Let me go to a village and farm with my mom. But I have the Holy Ghost now. You know, Satan locked us in a prison and said, if you convert the prostitutes, do you have a house to put them? It's a lie. Don't worry about that. It's not your business. Go and preach to them. So these people left. But they left with the Holy Ghost. All that Ananias gave to Paul was what? The Holy Ghost. All that Jesus left for the church was what? The Holy Ghost. What do I need to be a star? The Holy Ghost. What do I need to rule my generation? The Holy Ghost. What do I need to be a mega man? The Holy Ghost. What do I need to make it in life? The Holy Ghost. Sai Kabila, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is all I need. <laughs> Let me hear some drums. The Holy Ghost is all I need. I told the man who came to me, he said, Sir, I am tired of pastoring in Benin. I want to go. I said, where are you going to? He said, he said, uh, sir, please, let me ask you a question before I go. What do I need to make it in Benin? I said, the Holy Ghost. He said, sir, what did you use? I said, the Holy Ghost. Ha! Hey! hey. Add some drums, add some drums. Yeah. The Holy Ghost! What? Ah! The man said, What? But I have this Holy Ghost. And I'm struggling. He said, I'm struggling. I said, It's because you don't know him. You don't know him. You don't know him. I shared this, this testimony with Papa and here. We were looking for a place. So we lost our way. The person that was going to show us a hall, we lost our way. So I said, Lord, what do we do? The Holy Ghost said, drive to the left, we drove. Go to the left, go to the right, go here. And then we got to a place, he said, stop here. This is the hall. But that was not the hall the person was going to show us. But there was a hall God prepared for us. So when I was done with this man, 
he packed his back and he went to retreat and by the he spent about three months in that retreat then he came back immediately he came back a man in america who had estate in Benin. nobody was renting his house any of his building nobody so his building was lying fallow so when this guy came back with the redness of power somebody met him he preached to somebody and that person said this power you have i want to introduce you to my uncle <laughs> follow me my uncle has a problem is he has buildings and properties but people don't rent it the guy said give your uncle my number and he will know that there is a god in benin so the uncle called him and he said i give you two weeks and your house will be occupied so in two weeks people began to trouble the man we want your house they began to rent and rent and rent and it was not remaining one two flats so the man quickly called the pastor pastor they told me you don't have a house please can you manage three bedroom flats well furnished you didn't hear what i said have a house then he told him again pastor they told me you don't need a hall you don't have a hall i have one hall in one area they don't take light in that part of benin 24 hours i have a hall there i will eject whoever is there pastor can you start your church there the holy ghost can i give you two minutes out of my time to pray every man has his dimension Every man has his dimension. I know what I represent in the spirit. I know what I carry. I know the encounters that have orchestrated my destiny. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. What's in our party? You lift up a cry and say, Holy Ghost, I'm here. Come to me again. I'm going to pray for the sick. That thing they told you was impossible. You will see a lie. Lift up a cry. Cannot fail my generation. I cannot fail my generation. If you are not praying now, you might, you might be, you might miss a season. Volume high. He's calling you tonight. I don't need anybody to sing. Just pray for two minutes. My heart tonight is calling you. Take the stream volume high. My heart tonight is calling. He's calling you. Can I pray? If I can pray, God will 
will not fail me. If I can pray, God will hear me. Somebody say, yeah, I'm out. He's calling. He's calling you. He's calling you. He's calling you tonight. My altar is calling. He's calling you. Every day you can have an altar. You can create an ultimate. Fire fails only on altars. My altar is calling you. My altar. Let it go strong. He's calling. He's calling. He's
the search. Some people who are missed seasons, 
and God is telling me you want to restore. Oh, I know some of you don't believe it, but angels will begin to look for them. I will not ask you to come here, no. There are friends that are working with me now. Jesus, God is telling me that you began to feel some movement of the mulberries, but you lost it. There is something you lost that is coming back. Can you lift up your hands? There is something heavy you were in control of, but you lost. When I count one to seven, those angels will look for you. Yes, they will. They will. They will. I need the ushers to be alert. They will. Ah. They will. I made up my mind that I will not make excuse. I will not tell my generation story. If God wants me popular, so be it. But I will not tell story when I meet a cripple. Whether there is a camera or not, I don't care. Most of the spectacular healings in my life, there were no cameras. But eh, I decided by myself, I will not give an excuse. For how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. Eh, he went about. I made up my mind. Uh, I made up my mind. I made up my mind. Paul said the same thing that is mightily at work in Peter is effectually, is also mightily at work in me. Don't get jealous when God is using another man. Listen to me. Don't get jealous. No, 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 no. What was working in Peter is also working in me. Every man has their time and their space. I just want to be busy doing mighty things. So that when camera comes eventually, eh, he will mean that this man has been on fire many years ago. When the nations begin to call, when foreign men begin to call, they will meet an oil on your head. I want to pray for those people who lost seasons. When I count one to seven, there is a cherubim that came into this meeting tonight. He is going to walk. He is going to walk in our midst. Those cherubims will begin to restore seasons. I cannot say they are coming with fire from my altar. Those cherubims are coming with fire from the altar. It's fresh as seal burning in their hands.
one can I pray for you? Look at me, look. Stop praying, look at me. Open that eyes and look at me. see a book of remembrance open. I don't know what it is, woman. But the Holy Ghost want to wipe up a tear that has lasted for years. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. I don't know. I don't know. Lord. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. Can you bring her again to me? This thing, I saw two spirits of resistance standing close by you, woman. A book of remembrance has been opened in this meeting. And there are seven people in number. God wants to remember their family. And I don't know why. I don't know what for. I don't know why. I don't know what for. Woman, you are one of them. You are one of them. I saw in the realm of the spirit. A light. A light written over your head. I don't know what it means. And I don't know who you are. Sabi. I pray for you right now. 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 Let it break. Let it break. of remembrance open over this meeting make sure you help her sister around her the Lord is still working on her come in us there's a book of remembrance open everybody be on your feet except you are under dealings by the Holy Ghost of remembrance open and God wants to remember people lift up your hands you lift up your hands the Holy Ghost will come on you there the woman behind this man wearing white yes the Holy Ghost will come on you and there is a remembrance. There's a remembrance. What I hear my spirit is that this is a daughter of Abraham that I want to remember. As I count one to three, ghost will begin to do a walk. And that tears will be wiped away. Is happening now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. One, two, three. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. This remembrance is long awaited, long prophesied. Jesus. 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 Jesus! Jesus! There's a healing anointing coming on you. Bring him. Look, look, look at me. Look. Look, open your eyes. There's a healing anointing coming on you. You've been desiring it. Lift up that hands. Lift up 
other hands. It's coming on you again. Ah! Check. Yes. Lift other hands. You can't resist this one. No. Bring it to me. Open. Look at me. Tall man, lift up your hands there. Father, silver I have not, gold I have not. I command right now that an impartation beyond what you expect, let it rest on you. The woman wearing blue is in the realm of the spirit. In the realm of the spirit. Look at me, look. God wants to remove garments of sicknesses and disease. I don't know what sickness you are battling with. As I pray for you now, the power of God will come upon you and your family. And that power of sickness, Father, I command that it breaks. your children desiring that you compel the healing dimension of anointing on us that's the only thing I came to do in this my own session that's the layer I want to add I mean practical healing like you were sharing this morning like you have been sharing practical healings without camera and keyboards healing that will be happening in schools in markets in class my god that's what i want to release now Are you ready? Are we ready? There are two kinds of healing in this aspect I want you to know. One is prophetic healing. God will be showing or telling you and when you call it, the healing comes. Then number two is the evangelistic healing. Whether you feel or not, Whether you sense or not, somebody here, you begin to do what we call healing made easy. Healing made easy. Easy. I know I'm not talking to all, but I'm talking to somebody whose hunger is beckoning. Whose hunger is beckoning? Whether you are a doctor, a nurse, or a pharmacist. And it resisted your prescription, then you move to the other, this other one. It will not resist it. Lift up those hands. Spirit of Sovereign Lord. Come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the sovereign Lord. 
Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal. Now listen, young man, come to me. Come. I'm not the one that's going to pray for you. The ushers will take him to Papa. You kneel down before him. He's going to pray for you. There's a dimension that I see coming from him into you, a dimension a dimension of a missionary look at me this, look at me a dimension for a rugged evangelistic mission are you getting what I'm saying? There, there, there's, there's something I saw that was flowing from him to you God wants to do a mighty thing in your life. Even though men wrote you off. What God prepared for you. If you follow carefully for the next 10 years. You will daze your generation. I don't want you to forget tonight. Because this was a night that God met with you. From this night, something heavy will begin to happen first in your prayer life. Secondly, in your body and passion for souls. Then thirdly, in your healing life. Please, take him to daddy. Lift up those hands. Kai. I don't know if I will help. But we are still in this in this meeting together. We are still on this meeting together. We are still here together. But I want to pray for you. Young prophetess, why are you running? Bring her to me. Why are you running? Why are you despising what gave to you? Why are you despising it? Bring her. Help her two heavy ushers to bring her. Why are you despising this thing God gave to you? Because I see an angel wanting to take it and give it to another because of the kind of life you are living but this one is heavy it has your name on it but why are you despising it today I give you the grace for persistent consistent and consecration <laughs> that you will flow in this oil of the prophetic lift up those hands my God, my God Jesus, Jesus the things here are heavy. Of your glory. The things here are very heavy. Oh my God. Of your glory. Lift up your hands. I don't know what you desire. I don't know. When Papa was talking about Cameroon, there, there's somebody. Cameroon is not in this meeting that they're coming to your heart. It's been coming before. Come, run. Cameroon has been coming to you before. Come. Uh, uh, there, there's somebody here. Before this meeting, Cameroon has been coming. Has been coming to you very strongly. Come to the altar. Come here. Come. Papa is also going to pray for that person. I, I just needed to say this from the altar because you needed it as a confirmation. Come. You needed it as a confirmation. Come to the altar. Come. You needed this thing as a confirmation. Because to you, you don't know how it's going to happen. Are you following? You don't know how. But this meeting is a confirmation. Write the date of this meeting. This meeting was the day God confirmed you to you. Don't look at the struggles of now. No, 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 no. Nigeria is not your field. You were here so that you can meet your stream. I don't know how long you've been in this in this place. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. But I know I saw you last year, right? I don't know how long. But the reason God connected you here 
is because through here you are going to leap so you are going to be part of the face now God will be helping but God has many work to do on you especially anger and and hastiness are you following God wants to deal with those things when he succeeds in dealing with the anger and the hastiness then there's a goal that will come out of you you're also going to meet papa and papa will pray for you there's a missionary dimension that will come from him and to you i don't know if what i'm saying is even making sense huh it's making sense there's a matter of anger and hastiness god wants to deal with because as he is now is he's under contemplation has been to Cameroon before. Okay. Actually, he came back from Cameroon. Wow. Wow. But now, when you go back again, <laughs> there's something, please, all shall come, when you, yes, there's something you are going to take. Lift up your hands. I don't know if I came for one man tonight. That will suffice. But young lady, can I speak to you? Look at me. Look. 